Did you know? Non-human things that loved our Prophet wasallam. Anas radiallahu an narrated that the Prophet Muhammad wasallam said, None of you truly believes has Iman until I am more beloved to him than his father, his child, and all of mankind. We all claim to love the Prophet with our tongues, but do our actions show us this? When we love someone, how do we act? We want to be just like them. We think about them a lot, and whenever we remember them, we become happy. Their words comfort us, their actions teach us, we love to hear about them all the time. There are so many stories displaying the love of the companions for the Prophet wasallam. But today, let's look at some of the stories of non-human things that loved him. The Tree Stump Narrated by Jabir bin Abdullah radiallahu anhu, the Prophet wasallam used to stand by a tree or a date palm on Friday. Then an Ansari woman or man said, O oh Allah's Messenger, shall we make a pulpit for you? He replied, if you wish. So, they made a pulpit for him, and when it was Friday, he proceeded towards the pulpit for delivering the sermon. The date palm cried like a child, and the prophet descended the pulpit and embraced it while it continued moaning like a child being quieted. The prophet said, it was crying for missing what it used to hear of religious knowledge given near to it. Other versions of this hadith mention the tree cried out so loudly that it almost split. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, hugged it until it sobbed and then stopped crying altogether. These hadiths are classified as mutawattir, meaning so many companions narrated it because they all witnessed it in the masjid. This is a miracle of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, and the narrations of the companions are all authentic found in Bukhari and Muslim. This tree trunk, which seems like a lifeless being to us, is actually alive and was so affected by the Prophet. Allah says that the Prophet وسلم, is a rahmatan lil alameen, a mercy for all that exists. And we see this in how he comforted the stump, Mount Uhud. The Prophet وسلم, once climbed the mountain of Uhud with Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman. The mountain shook with them. The Prophet وسلم, said to the mountain, Be firm, O Uhud, for on you there are no more than a prophet, a siddiq, and two martyrs. In another hadith narrated by Anas bin Malik, Allah be pleased with him, with another chain of transmitters and the words are, Allah's Messenger cast a glance at Uhud and said, Uhud is a mountain which loves us and we love it. A stone. Jabir bin Samura reported Allah's Messenger, may peace be upon him, as saying, I recognize the stone in Mecca which used to pay me salutations before my advent as a prophet, and I recognize that even now. How often do we salute, send salawat, to the Prophet wasallam? The Prophet knew this stone, and if we send salawat on him, especially on Fridays, they will be presented to him from us. We should strive more to love the Prophet, learn about his life, read about his companions, act upon his authentic statements and teachings, and to send salawat upon him. May Allah fill our hearts with love for him and his messenger, peace be upon him.